guys, going on an adventure in the kayak. Picked this guy up at Walmart. It was about $3.85 after tax. Um, it's a Tamarack Pro Angler. So you get a couple extra little bells and whistles versus your regular old Tamarack Angler. All right, so this is my kayak. So here we have a storage area, two rod holders. We have a nice stadium seat. This will be part of the upgrade from the Tamarack Angler to the Tamarack Pro. It's got this really nice stadium seat. You just strap these guys down here. Let me get my head out of there. You just strap these down around this rod and then you're good to go. Tighten it up if you need to. I was riding around with it not like that because I didn't know what I was supposed to do and oh my gosh, what a difference that makes. We also have some nice handles here. Plus T handles in the front and the back. Nice rod holder, it's nothing fancy, but it definitely does a job. It's nice to have these tracks. That's another one of the upgrades. These nice adjustable foot mounts. I am very short, so I have them pulled basically all the way up. So we have some practice golf balls that we're using for scupper plugs. Your butt will get wet if you do not put them in there. There are two right down there. They're right under your butt. You get water in there, your butt's getting wet. Alright, and then we have storage right here. It barely fits my uh, iPhone XS Max in there, so that kind of gives you an idea of like how big it is. I have a tiny hand. And here we have some more room for storage. And I actually can reach this. I just scoot up and then reach to grab it. And I mean, I'm short enough and I'm, I feel like I'm small enough that it doesn't really affect it. I have stood up in the kayak only once and then I sat right back down because I didn't want to tip over, but it is doable. All right. Let's go fishing. So I really didn't plan on uh, showing my chubby butt getting in the kayak, but what better way to show how sturdy it is, right? Once you get out on the water, you're gonna realize that it is not the fastest kayak in the world but stable, the seat is very comfortable, and you can actually adjust it while you're out on the lake, which some of the other ones you can't do that, so that's nice. You can let it stretch down and just kind of chill and relax, or you can pull it up nice and tight and straight so you can paddle hard. Tracking is good, but once you slow down, the wind is going to catch you, or even if it's not windy, it'll still happen. You just kind of start tracking, or you just kind of start turning. Mine turns to the right, which is kind of annoying when I'm trying to fish off the left side, but, or even the right side. Shit. I had a nice little day out on the water, got to paddle around. Got to do a little fishing, didn't catch anything, but there's some footage of me catching some bass on a little creek off of a lake nearby.
overall, I think it's a great kayak for the value. I mean, it's less than $400. The only thing I wish they did was give you a better paddle. I mean, Tamarack really listened to the people when um, they came out with the pro version. You know, they added the tracks. They put the stadium seat in there so you don't have to go buy your own stadium seat. Um, they put the rod holder in there, and that's awesome. They put a catch tray in your hull storage so you don't have to lose all your little things into the hull, which is awesome. I mean, all those little things that they did, it's great. It makes it a ten times better kayak than the uh, Angler. I feel like if they just gave you a better paddle, it would be a hundred times better. But again, for the price, I'm not going to complain that much. Overall, it's a great kayak. Gets out on the water so you can fish, you can relax, and you can enjoy nature. I would definitely recommend it.